Okay, yay. So we're gonna do we're gonna listen to Dancing Slow featuring Train. Train sings drops of Jupiter. Jupiter right? Yeah, Soul Sister. Yeah. I can sort of see where a collab yeah. might be really, really cool, cool with them. So I ha- it, I feel like Jewel, Jewel and Train are similar in the sense of like I know some bangers from them, but I don't really know them um, yeah. as artists. Like I don't follow them. So I know they're bangers and I love them, but what well, I can't really call them bangers because they're not really bangers. They're more I know, you know they're mean. famous songs, those songs that you vibe with and like you just know you know all the words to it, X, Y, and Z. So I'm really interested in listening to whatever they have come up together. Uh yeah, yay. Here we go. Dancing, Dancing slow. Okay, I'm going to say it. I liked that song a lot. Yeah, I thought it was like... It was so interesting because it wasn't a slow so that's song. That's exactly what I said. Like when it... Or was it what I was thinking is... It says dancing slow, so I imagine... Yeah. Slow dancing. But the song was upbeat. Beat. It really kind of threw me for a mind loop. Yeah, no, I really liked that juxtaposition. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that it was really clever, and that's something that you hear a lot. And I can just see this being the new duet that people do at karaoke. Oh, me! I just like there's pictures. Oh, yeah. Rock. You know, there's those those duet songs. Summer, summer yeah, love. They're so fun, and they're not so fun. Fun. like oh, here I am to showcase myself. Yeah, like, just. They're just fun karaoke songs. Dun, you know, they sing with somebody. Like, that's what I love about Jewel songs is th- not that they're easy to sing, mm-hmm. but I think that the average person who isn't a singer mm-hmm. could sound good at those the songs. I guess, right? Totally. You know, because it's just like sort of this campfirey yeah. like vibe mm-hmm, totally. that's just relaxed and a little bit more laid back. It's not an Ariana Grande or Mariah Carey or something that's really egregious and in your face. Right, right. And I like that. That's why I respect Jewel. She never, she she can sing really well. Right. And she's, you, her voice is unique. unique. It's unique sounding. When you hear a song, you know it's Jewel. Right. You know? It's similar to Ariana Grande or Mariah Carey. Right. Or somebody it's different like jazz. That. But it's just different genres. But there's something for everybody, I feel like. Yeah. In the voice of Jewel. Yeah. And you can, like make it your own. Yeah, and I can respect that. I think that Train did really good. I really liked that song. Yeah. And I thought it was it, it actually threw me this is what threw me for a loop. Mm-hmm. Is that so the the first verse, you know, it had that groovy feel and then the first verse the shaker and drums dropped out. Yes. And then it got it was slow for a second. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. And then it did the verse again. But then the second chorus that Train was singing, mm-hmm. it was still with the beat behind it and whatever. Yeah. So it was almost like from the girl's point of view, it to me it felt like the song was about stopping time in the moment. You know, maybe life is going really, really fast, but yeah. you know, you're just in that moment and you, you're not a- aware of anything around you. You're just in your moment. It feels like time has slowed down. I love that. I don't know. That's what I was getting. I, guys, I liked that song. I, I actually it. really yeah. like that song and I can't wait to listen to it again. That was a great song. <laughs>